a rhythm dribble. Right? Listen. Rhythm dribble. Um, th This is what I'm saying. Multiple animation moves. Like, differently, right? Rhythm dribbles. Moving, walking up. Like, moving size up. Moving size up. Like, walking up size up. Um, walking back size ups. Um, um, stutter steps. Um, hezzies. You know, hezzies. Uh, size up escape package. Um, between the legs escape package. Um, um, between the legs, or no, I'm gonna go behind the back rhythm dribble. Not on. She must be from out of space. I never seen this bitch before. I get a nigga switch cheese for a little Peter roll. I'm the type to fuck your baby mama, still put you on. Pockets look like that pants. You can see Franklin through the clothes. Lately, I've been beating up that road. He got my pockets swole. 200 for these Amiris. These is not your boats. Start off with Power DF. He said, Mike Wang says the way you play on the court is going to reflect how your body just gets shaped in NBA 2K24. He goes on to say, Let's say you like to do spin jumpers, you're going to see your abilities as a spin jump improve steadily over time. Then he goes on to say, Sound like a whole new badge system that reminds me of 16, 17, referring to 2K16 and 17, where you get badges by doing the action. The badge required. Do you guys like this or not? I'm gonna give my all right. Based off that information right there, y'all, it's sounding like. It sounded like, um, it is sounding like 17. I wonder how they gonna mix it up and how it's gonna work. It sounded like 17 with the, um, like 2K17. Y'all remember how every build can get every bash? That's really what it sounded like. Like, every build can get every bash depending on if you can do it. Like, if you had a center, you wasn't gonna get dead eye. You wasn't upgrading your dead eye because you was a center in the paint. You wasn't getting dead eye. I like that. I feel like that's a real, that's like a real skill gap thing. Um, and like if you don't got a high enough three to get like a high enough dead eye or Hall of Fame or, or a Hall of Fame limitless takeoff, like you can't constantly shoot them, then then that's you know I feel like that's that's how seventeen was. Like I would I would like them to add that in the game. I feel like that would make people like play a certain way. Like me, I like to dribble and score the ball, no matter like what my height is. Even if I'm like a you know even if I'm a six seven six eight six five, I like dribbling the ball and shooting the ball. Like that's my main when I go for clips it's dribbling the ball and shooting the ball so my main my main badge will obviously be a dribble badge and a shooting badge but say if I'm dribbling and I you know or like say if I'm dribbling good so I'm getting my all my dribble badges but when it comes to shooting I'm not shooting good so I'm not getting my shooting badges you know what I'm saying like I like that I think that's valid right there chat I think that's valid what y'all think comment down below and let me know what y'all think I think that do you think the new badge system is just like core badges you have okay but you have them for every badge. Honestly, that'll be fire, bro. Do you see at the bottom somebody comment? I think that'll be fire, bro. If if you get every, I don't know, every badge is crazy. They will have to shape it to to like what your they have to shape it to what your like play style is. Like if you made a play shot, obviously you unlock these badges. But it's like core badges to get bronze. You have to get the core badge up to get silver. You have to get the core badge up to get gold. You have to go. I think that's a real skill gap. When you see somebody at the bottom comment, you telling me if I don't shoot one game, I lose my badges. F out of here. I wouldn't say I would. I, I'm, I understand what he's saying, but I would like it if you lose it depending on how bad you do at that attribute. So instead of like not shooting one game, you lose the badge. No, more like if you go negative with the shooting. If you go negative with laying the ball up, if you go negative with dunking on people, if you go, you know, if you don't like do like like your your percentage of doing the two things at once. I think that's what it is for me. The percentage of doing two things that, you know, both of the things like your 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 um how many times you have made the shot versus how many times you have missed the shot, how many times you have successfully scored off a drill move and how many times you you did not score off a drill move, like got the ball stolen or or it got bumped to you, or drilling bars was gone too much, or, you know, I think that'll be fire, bro, I think that'll be fire if you lost badges, if you didn't do at a good thing, I feel like that'll, you know, it's, that'll separate the real good people from the real trash people, bro, a lot of y'all gonna be scared out there, bro, when y'all can't dribble, y'all think y'all gonna get quick first step, just because, now nah, you about to have to really get past somebody to get that quick first step going, I'm telling you that, nah,
to get them dribble bags. You about to actually have to dribble the ball. Like a lot of y'all be scary on this game, bro. Hopefully they do do that. They make you lose your badge based off what you can't do. Basically, what you can't do the most, that's how you lose the badge. I think that's valid. I think that's fire. I would love 2K to do that. Comment below, below. Let me know what you think, bro. I feel like that's a real big skill gap right there. I feel like it's a real huge skill gap if they make it to where if you shoot a negative, you lose it. I feel like you can't complain. Like, you know, you can't complain, bro. I feel like that's valid, bro. It's like coring badges. Like on 2K23, you were able to core badges based off doing the specific requirement for it. And in order to get them on higher tier, you have to de keep doing it. Like 2K17, you had to do that. Now, WH said, my thoughts on the new badge system. Pros, it separates grinders from the rest. Okay. Um, Double double H, he said, my thoughts on new badge system. Pros, it separates grinders from the rest. Promote, promote, promote your own play style. Certain badges will be earned. Randoms, okay. I'm gonna tell y'all this already. What I was just talking about, this whole thing is based on the bad system, bro. Um, honestly, bro, I think this does separate the the casual players from the very very good players, like the players who don't really play 2K. Like that's gonna be their favorite excuse. Like, bro, I don't got my badges, but I don't play like that. I feel like somebody who don't play 2K that much shouldn't beat somebody who who really really play 2k a lot unless they really really just trash and you're really really just good like you know what i'm saying like me i feel like i'm i'm good at 2k you know what i'm saying i'm very good at 2k mm. like you just don't lose on 2k like that y'all like every year i got over a 60 65 wear percent every year bro um not that i care about wear percent i know y'all don't care about wear percent either bro it's just as if you have dreams of being a streamer or a youtuber youtuber or a streamer that's what comes with it nobody want to watch a streamer or a youtuber who loses a lot on a video game say that not that's why you know sometimes playing story mode games is good you know it's where it's at sometimes when you're playing competitive games bro you play it online bro people like to see people win they don't want to watch you and see people lose so i always had over 65 win percent because i really don't lose bro like that on 2k but i'm the kind of person where even if i i play i play, i have leached off and put my talents a lot of my talents it's call of duty i'm not gonna say i'm like the best call of duty player but i have you know grown on call of duty to get better so if i was to play call of duty more than 2k24 and i was to come back and i only have bronze badges or silver badges because i don't play like that but i'm good at the game i'm good enough to still get on there and still work my way up to get gold or hall of fame shooting badges or woo -woo, but somebody else has put a lot of time in it and already got hall of fame badges if i'm good enough i can still defeat that like beat that person but it's seeming like that's going to more into like it really separates but you got to think about it even the person that does play a lot if he good and he have hall of fame that means he's really really good especially if they let you make you like lose badges especially if you lose badges for not playing good bro like i feel like that's valid bro i think that's valid bro. i think that's a skill game a lot of y'all gonna be mad at this game, bro. They come out and you have to get badges. Cause think about it. If it if, if it's if it's like a core thing, if it's like a core badges, if it's like if the new badge system is like a core thing to where you core your badges. If y'all don't know what core is, it's some next gen thing. If y'all current gen people, you know, watching a video and y'all got PS4. Basically, uh I wish I wish I had my console on so I can show y'all. Basically, core badges was a thing where you can it was like a meter to like get a badge. That's basically what it was. It was a meter. So like to get Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, even though Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff is not going to be in, you know, 2K24. I'm just giving y'all an example. To get Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame Core, it was a bar. It was kind of like a grand badge. It was kind of like grand badge. Once you max the bar out, it took you probably, it took me to max Limitless Takeoff. I ain't going to lie, y'all. It took me a lot of dunking. Took me a lot of dunking. I'm gonna tell you that now. So getting the Hall of Fame wouldn't be easy. But I'm hearing that they might do it to where you could also lose the badge if you don't do it. If you don't do it a lot, you could also lose the badge. And I think the badge system might like it might you know how can I say this word? It might it might play out off of your builder. So like of course if you are a center, you're not getting Hall of Fame limitless. I mean, Hall of Fame limitless range. You're not getting Hall of Fame limitless range, obviously, if you're a center. So you wouldn't have to worry about coring that badge. I don't think you're going to get every badge in the game. I think it goes around how you make your builder. And then, would, I, I would like that, though. 2K, if y'all watching this video, bro, I would love if we was to lose progression on a badge if we went negative. 
or if we're not good at doing what we're what we you know what our builder is supposed to be doing. If I make a sharpshooter and I'm going negative every game and I'm losing green machine, I'm losing all these badges because I'm not being a shooter as I am. I would like that, bro. I would like that. Okay, grind and say corner sitters finna be fumbling when they when they when they're open threes and their point guard is doing 80 spin shots trying to get his badges. Okay, that's back to what I was saying too, bro. I feel like that's oh that's gonna be tough, bro. Ooh, ain't nobody hopping on with no randoms, boy. That randoms is dead. I I like that though, cause I feel like that's how old two Ks used to be. They used to suck playing on randoms, bro. Who used to want to get their badges, bro? Now you play two K twenty three. Now it's like the game was so bad, you just hop on with randoms. You about going to twenty street. That's how two K used to be. Like when you hop on a bit on on like a older two K where it was a bad progression. Thing, when it was a bash progression thing, then that's when it, it, it was it was it sucked playing around us back in the day, boy. It sucked, bro. Now you got a chance, bro, because the game was two twenty three was just so like off. Now you got a chance to get on the spot with a random and go crazy. But how this looking in order to get these badges, it's like a core now. That's gonna be crazy. Bro. Said oh. corner. I like, honestly like the pro with the idea that they going with the pro play. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm liking the pro play because I feel like it right, It really, I'm going to tell you, it depends on the dribble system, bro. If the dribble system is really good, like um, where you can equip multiple, like how can I say this? You can equip multiple different moves, bro, on your character. I would love to pro play. I think I would like to pro play if you can equip multiple different moves. Basically what I'm saying, let me be really, like let me try to really tap into my basketball mindset. A rhythm dribble, right? Listen, rhythm dribble. Um, th this is what I'm saying. Multiple animation moves, like differently, right? Rhythm dribbles, moving, walking up, like moving size up, moving size ups, like walking up size up, um, walking back size ups, um, um, stutter steps, um, hezies. You know, hezzies, uh, size up escape package, um, between the legs escape package, um, um, between the legs, or no, I'm gonna go behind the back rhythm dribble. Not only you get a regular rhythm, you also get a behind the back rhythm dribble. Um, park size ups. Um, um what else can I say? Um, between the legs. Between the leg size ups. That's ten. That's ten categories of dribble moves that I have named. Can we get multiple categories of different moves? I, I, I all of the ten that I just named, right? I would like to put each different character, like I mean, not character, but each different NBA player move in one. So for the first one, I would like a LeBron James mo, uh, rhythm dribble. For the second one, I would like a KD. For the third one, give me a Curry move. Give me a, a Damian Lillard. Give me a, a John Wall move. Give me a Trey Young. Mix, let us mix the moves up all in the pro play with the pro play moves. Let me mix multiple different moves. If it's going to be pro play and you're analyzing moves from every character, don't well, I don't, I, I'm don't. i not going to say I don't want it, but I would like it not to be how 23 was. Let me try to tell y'all how 23 was, right? 23 was, if you play 23, you know. 23 was... If you put on KD, like if you put up on KD, um, size up escape packages, right? They gave you all of his moves. Out of all the like five I just made, it was all KD. You had KD size up escape package to the side. When you hold art, when you hold with my controller, so I can tell you exactly what I'm talking about. You play 2K, you know. If you equip KD on for a size up package, you hold R2, flick to the side. It was the crab animation. KD. Hold R2, flick down, they give you the jump back. KD. You hold R2, you flick diagonally up, they gave you the jump to the side animation. KD. See what I'm saying? It was all KD. I would like to hold R2, flick to the side, and do a Curry. Hold R2, flick down, and do a LeBron James. Like, I would like to mix my moves up together, 2K. Like, come on. The closest we ever got to that was 2K19. That's why I think 2K19 was, like, always going to be one of the greatest 
um, just dribbling, just dribble system. I don't want to say the greatest 2K game, but dribble system for sure was the best dribble system, bro, 2K19, for sure. No has additional new moves in NBA.